Okay, we are going to solve practice problem 3.5 from study cookbook and the question is calculate the mass currents I1 and I2 of the circuit of figure 3.19 and this is the figure so this is the mass currents this is the loop number one and this is loop number two and let's start right away using KVL at loop one so KVL at the first loop or loop I1 so KVL said that the sum of voltage in a circuit in a loop is equal to zero and we start from this voltage source here and the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative so we will have negative and the value is 45 volt and then plus this is 2 ohm resistor so 2 but to get voltage we need to multiply it by i1 because it is the only current that pass through this resistor and then we move on to this 12 ohm resistor and because we are working on loop I1, so I1 come first. And then here we have I2 flowing to the opposite direction, so minus I2. And then for the last component, we have this 4 ohm resistor. But to get voltage, we need to multiply it by I1. So we will have all of this equal to 0. And let's do some algebra here minus 45 plus for i1 i have 2 plus 12 it's 14 14 times 4 which is 18 i1 and then for i2 i only have this value here minus 12 i2 and that equal to 0 and let's move this minus 45 to the right hand side so i will have 18 i1 minus 12 i2 that will equal to 45 okay let's save this as equation number one and let's move on to loop number two so we will have kvl at loop number two and kvl said that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to zero and we start from this voltage source here and the current is flowing from positive to negative so the sign will be positive and the value is 30 and we move on to this 3 ohm resistor and we need to multiply it by the current that pass through it which is only i2 and then we move on to this 12 ohm resistor because we now working at loop 2 so i2 come first but here i1 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus i1 and then the last component is this 9 ohm resistor so 9 but we need to multiply it by the current that pass through it which is only i2 and that will equal to 0 and then again let's do some simple algebra here we have 30 and for i1 we only have this minus 12 i1 for the coefficient and then for i2 we have 3 plus 12 which is 15 15 plus 9 it is 24 i2 and that will equal to 0 and let's rewrite this as 12 i1 minus 24 i2 will equal to 30 okay let's have this as equation number two so now we can do something to solve these two equations with two variables which is exactly what we are going to do we are going to use elimination from the equation 1 and 2 so I will multiply the first equation by 2 why because I will get this as minus 24 and that will cancel with this one so I will have 
equation number one multiplied by two so i will have 36 i1 minus 24 i2 will equal to 90 so this is equation number one and for equation number two i just leave it alone so i multiply it by one so i will have 12 i1 minus 24 i2 and that will equal to 30 then we can subtract this so this will cancel each other so 20 minus 24 and minus 24 will cancel each other and for i1 we get 24 i1 and that will equal to 60 and what does this tell us i1 is okay let me put my calculator 60 divided by 24 it is 2.5 ampere so i1 is 2.5 ampere and from here we can substitute i1 to either equation number one or equation number two okay let's try equation number two then let's plug this into this so we will have 12 multiplied by two and half minus 24 i2 that will equal to 30 and 12 multiplied by 2.5 is 30 and then minus 24 i2 is equal to 30 and this make 24 i2 is equal to 30 minus 30 and 30 minus 30 is equal to 0 so i2 is 0 divided by 24 which is 0 ampere so the answer to this question is i1 is 2.5 ampere and then i2 is 0 ampere okay and that's the answer of the question let me know if you find any mistakes in my calculation in the comment and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel okay thank you and bye bye